Hey everyone, got some yummy Bobbi Brown products to share with you today. I'm wearing them. And I want to share with you a palette that didn't really work out for me. Uh, but first, let me tell you that about once or twice a year, I get a giant chin mountain. That's what I call them. It's only about once or twice a year. This is time. It's about time for one. And man, this one is a doozy. If you ever need <laughs> to cover up the redness, the red part of your gigantic zit, this is the best product in the world. It's called, it's from It Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. And you just dot it on whatever red parts of your face you have and it neutralizes that red just so well. Look, I put a little bit of that on there. It looks so much better as far as the redness, but that is a fantastic product for canceling out any redness on your face at all. Okay, Bobbi Brown's fall lineup is called Wine and Chocolates. Love that. Who came up with that name? I have from them today one of their eyeshadow quads and their new blush from the Wine and Chocolates line. Actually, it's a quad plus eyeliners. This quad is called the Wine Eye Palette. There's also a Chocolate Eye Palette. This one is a little more burgundy than the chocolate one. Browns. I have this on today and I like it. I like the way it performed. You get four eyeshadows and you get three. These are liners down here that are separated into three colors. So I'll show you exactly how I put these on today, but let me swatch them for you. First color here I used as my lid color and it is called Frappe but that is frappe. It's just a matte. The next color over is called Moon Glow. I used this as my highlighter today. Moon Glow. I have to tell you about a product that I reviewed a little while ago. I got two more colors of it today and they're not really panning out. I have to tell you about that. Next color is called Black Cocoa. This is an espresso color. It's metallic and it has a tiny gold glitter in it. You see, this one a little goes a long way on your eye. Don't go too crazy with it. And the next one is called Pinot Noir Fitting. It's a burgundy color, burgundy metallic. Let me show you the eyeliners. You have sort of a standard black, just coal black. And then you have, um, that one is called Night. You have Malbec which is the burgundy in the middle. And these actually performed like liners today. I did use them under my under eye and they are dense enough to perform like liners. I thought maybe they would be a little more on the eyeshadowy side, but they're not. They're molten chocolate. Man, they know how to name these colors so that they just make your mouth water. There's your molten chocolate at the bottom there. So overall kind of warm. I'll show you how I applied them. Taking the color called Frappe, I'm going to do that on my lid. and It's a, a mocha matte. I'm kind of leaving once again this corner and this corner bare because I'm going to put other colors in there and I don't want it to really conflict. I'm kind of putting that a little in the crease because this is this would make a good crease color actually. It's going to be a nice base for what I'm going to use in the crease here in a minute. Okay now I'm going to put this color called Pinot Noir. Makes sense huh? In the outer third of my eye and sort of in the crease. So far these colors are nice. They are blending nicely and moving nicely and nicely pigmented. Alright, placing some of the color called Moon Glow as my highlighter right through here. Okay, let's take a very small brush and go in. Black Cocoa. It's metallic. It's a metallic espresso right there. I'm going to go into that and put that in the very outer corner. This one has a little glitter in it. Little tiny gold glitter. That one is, uh, that one packs a punch. You don't need much for this one. Okay, I forgot earlier to put some of this highlight color, uh, Moon Glow, in my inner corner. That 
right, so let me show you the blush that I wore today and that goes with this wine and chocolate set. This is called Brightening Blush. The color is called Warm Cocoa. Just look at the golden, glorious, gorgeous shimmer on this blush. Now, not all blushes to me have to be shimmery. I, I, I quite like matte ones, but this one just has the prettiest golden sheen to it. It's like, I can't wait to put that on. So a little goes a long way on these because of the shimmer. Purchased, um, and I don't usually go crazy for Max Holiday line every year, but this year I kind of thought this Nutcracker Sweet line was kind of pretty. So I picked up one of the palettes and I'm not just real happy with it. So this is the Cool Eye Palette and it did come with a nice little double-ended brush and I thought it was just kind of pretty and, and festive and I thought I would be able to do something fun with this bright pink in the middle here. I tried to wear this yesterday and I just didn't like the consistency of the shadows. They're all very hard. They're very hard and very dry. Um, look at this one here. This one's just kind of a non-color. It's the second one here. It's supposed to be a metallic. It's just sort of not really even there. Um, they're very hard. They're very dry. This gray here is one of those sort of wimpy, greasy feeling glitters that I hate. Um, they're just so dry. And then this bright pink, which I thought was so much fun, it's very dry and it's unevenly pigmented. It's not, it goes on streaky. Um, I tried to use that as a lid color and then I also tried to line under my eye with it yesterday and it just, see, look how sheer it is. There's, n there's no pigment there. Okay, let me put another layer. I mean, not buildable at all. And with a color like that, you want it to be buildable so that you can get the impact of that shade. It just, it's not, it just didn't work out. Some of these other colors are kind of just barely there as well. I mean, there's just like a barely there chalky looking pink. There's a barely there um, sort of a, a lavender-y gray. And, and what, what's funny is that MAC makes such quality eyeshadows. They're individual eyeshadows. They must be a totally different formula than this. This is, these are hard and dry, streaky. I do like the box. It's sort of a plastic rubber, sort of a coating of um, like vinyl. And then this is embroidered in gold thread. You know, thumbs up on that. That's really awesome, but just the um, the shadows in here were just not fun to work with. Recently, I told you how wonderful this Cover FX product was. It's the Click Stick Enhance Click, and the color I had was called Bubbly. So what I've been doing, like over and over again, as sort of a base highlight on my cheek. It's a cream product, and then I've been putting the Cover FX highlighting powder on on top of it, and I just get a really pow highlighter when I do that. It sort of adheres, the powder adheres to this cream, and the cream does not melt through my makeup that's already there. So I've really been enjoying Bubbly. Well, I picked up a couple more shades in the Enhanced Click Stick because I liked Bubbly so much. And when I opened them and I tried to use this one today, it's just not really showing up. It's not giving me any impact. This color is called Celestial. Now we know and love our Cover FX drops called Celestial, right? This is like the most pow, insane, metallic highlight you could ever put on your cheek. This is the Celestial Click Stick and it's not even comparing. There's no pow there. Um, there it is right there. It's not nearly as intense as the drops. Obviously, I'm not expecting it to be, but it needs to be more sort of whitely, intensely celestial looking than the bubbly. This is bubbly and this is celestial. They should have more of a color difference there. To I almost think you need to get one of these and just use that over and over again as like a highlight base and that would be either bubbly or celestial. I don't think you need both. They're too close in color and there's just not any pig much pigment difference between the two of them. So I will put on um, the Cover FX powder, highlighting powder on top of both of these and you can see how it looks exactly the same. I also picked up the color called Blossom. Here is Blossom. Blossom has more pink pink to it. But again, all three of them are so, so similar. I love, love, love this powder. It's called Moonlight. It just is a beautiful, very pearlized, pearly look. Okay, so I've put the powder on top. I mean, do you really think we need all three of these? No. That one's bubbly. 
This one is Celestial, and this one is Blossom. But I don't think there's enough color difference to even mess with the other ones. So the Sephora VIB Rouge and VIB sale is coming up soon. 20% off for VIB Rouge. It starts November 4th. And of course, you know, I'm grooming my cart. My cart is full. I am adding, I'm deleting, I'm adding, I'm deleting. This goes on for weeks. And then I finally will make a decision and make my big purchase on November 4th, probably, or right around there. So I'm going to do a video on things I recommend and things I am getting. So be looking out for that. Still to come, reviews on Dior, reviews on Tarte, reviews on Burberry, reviews on more Kevin Aquan, Estee Edit, cool new palette. I'm gonna be reviewing that very soon, so I'll see you then. Bye.